Good morning. Happy Tuesday. Um, just a quick shout out to all the little ones that keep trying to talk to me while I'm reading. I see you, Kai. Good morning. Hi, Ziki. Good morning, D6. I miss you so much. Um, our story today is called Skippy John Jones. It's the original. And um, the author and illustrator is Judy Schachner. Schachner, say that three times fast. Skippy John Jones. Every morning, Skippy John Jones woke up with the birds. And this did not please his mother at all. Get down here right now, Mr. Kitten Britches, ordered Mama Junebug Jones. No self-respecting cat ever slept with a flock of birds, she scolded, or ate worms, or flew, or did his laundry in Miss Doohiggy's bird bath. The lecture went on and on as usual. You've got to do some serious thinking before you leave this room, Mr. Fuzzy Pants, said his mother, about just what it means to be a cat, not a bird or a mouse or a grouse, not a moose or a goose, not a rat or a bat. You need to think about just what it means to be a Siamese cat. And stay out of your closet, she added, slamming the bedroom door. But once he was alone, Skippy John Jones began to bounce and bounce and bounce on his big boy bed. Oh, I'm Skippy John Jones and I bounce on my bed and once or six times I land on my head. On his way down to earth from a gigantic big bounce, Skippy John Jones shot past his bedroom mirror. Holy guacamole, exclaimed Skippy John Jones. What was that? So up he went again and again it appeared. Then using his very best Spanish accent, he said, my ears are too big for my head. My head is too big for my body. I am not a Siamese cat. I am a chihuahua. Back on land, Skippy John Jones climbed into his toy box and rifled through some of his old junk. After he put on his mask and sword and climbed onto his mouse, Skippy John Jones began to sing in a muy muy soft voice. My name is El Skippito Fresquito. I fear not a single bandito. My manners are mellow. I am sweet like a jello. I get the job done, yes indeed -o. Back in the kitchen, Juju B, Jezebel, and Jilly Boo Jones were helping Mama Junebug Jones make lunch. Can Skippy John come out of his room now? Asked Juju B. No, answered Mama Junebug Jones. Mr. Fluffernutter is still thinking. In fact, Skippy John wasn't thinking about being a Siamese cat at all. With a walk into his closet, his thoughts took him down a lonesome desert road far, far away in old Mexico. Not long into his journey, a mysterious old band of chihuahuas appeared out of the dust. Ay, caramba, who goes there? asked Skippy John Jones. We go by the name of Los Chimichangos, growled Don Diego, the biggest of the small ones. Who are you? Oh, I'm El Scapito, the great sword fighter, answered Skippy John Jones. Then the smallest of the small ones spoke up. Why the mosquito, dude? asked Paquito Tito. Oh, I go incognito, said Skippito. Do you like rice and beans? asked Pintolito. See, si, I love mice and beans, said Skippito. He might be the dog of our dreams, whispered Rosalita. Perhaps, said Tia Mia, if he knows the secret password. 
Leaning toward Don Diego, Al Scapito half sneezed, half spoke the secret password into the Chihuahua's very large ear. Ah, 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 you beat you! Oh, then it's true, declared Don Diego. Yippee, yippee, yippee-do, it's the end of Alfredo Bazito. Scapito is here, we have nothing to fear. Adios to the bad Bumbolito. And then all of the chimichangos went crazy loco. First, they had a fiesta. Then, they took a siesta. But after waking up, the chimichangos got down to some serious beesness. Using his paw, Don Diego drew a picture in the sand of the great bumblebeeto for Scapito to see. A hush grew over the chimichango so great, one could hear a whisker drop. Alfredo Basito whispered the crowd. El Blimpo Bumblebito Bandito. See, si, said Paquito Tito, the Bandito steals our frijoles. <gasps> Not your beans, cried Scapito, outraged. See, si, Paquito continued, red beans, black beans, Boston baked and blue, cocoa, coffee, kidney beans, pinto and jelly too. And now, he comes for us, said Paquito. Okay, asked Scapito, because we're full of beans too. Then Don Diego stood tall and in his most somber voice declared, Yo quiero frijoles. Huh? asked Scapito. The dude wants his beans back, said Paquito Tito, and you're the dog for the job. Me? asked Scapito. Then all of the chimichangos turned towards Scapito, the great sword fighter. But poor Paquito had no time for a plan because in the blink of an eye, a gigantic shadow darkened the landscape and the chimichangos scattered in all directions. Vamanos, Scapito! It's you the bandito will eat all, they cried. Scapito stood his ground, but his legs shimmied and shook like the jello, and his teeth chattered like the castanets. And then, in a muy, muy soft voice, he said, My name is El Scapito Frisquito, and I fear not a single bandito. But Alfredo Bazito flew straight for Scapito until the bean-eating bandito hovered only inches away from the great sword fighter's face. Holy frijoles! cried Scapito, and he thrust his sword into the air. Suddenly, landing on Scapito's sword, the bandito, whoops, pop went the bandito, landing on Scapito's sword, and quicker than one can say, chihuahuas, cheese, and crackers, every kind of bean came spilling out of the Alfredo Bazito, Bumblebito Bandito. Then all of the doggies burst into song. Yippee, yippee, yippee our hero is El Scapito. He's the dog of our dreams who delivered the beans and now we can make our burritos. Back at home, there was such a ruckus coming from Skippy John Jones' room that Mama June Bug Jones and the girls just had to find out what was going on. They raced down the hall to the kitty boy's room. Bangito! Crashito! Pompito! Scapito! Just in time to see Skippy John Jones' closet exploding. Then out flew Candy, Beanbag Doggies, and the Kitty Boy with his birthday pinata on his head. Skippy John Jones! Everyone cried. Holy muchachitas! He said in a muy muy soft voice. Mama Junebug Jones lifted up Skippy John and covered his head with furry prairie kisses. What am I gonna do with you, Mr. Coco Pugs? She scolded. That night, when he was supposed to be going to sleep, 
Skippy John began to bounce and bounce on his big boy bed. Oh, I'm Skippy John Jones with a mind of my own, and I'll bounce on my bed for hours. I know I'm a cat. Forget about that. Say goodnight, Skippy John Jones, called his mama. Buenos noches, mis amigos, said Skippy John Jones. The end. Okay, I have a challenge for you tomorrow, and this is optional, but I challenge you to build a fort somewhere in your house. Use anything you can find, blankets, a tent. I'm gonna build a fort tomorrow too, and I will be reading from inside of the fort. Have a great day.